Hi, John Lord again. Uh, this is the final hardware update on my main media center box. I finally got all the parts in that I needed and it's complete. Now I was having an issue with it overheating. The video card was overheating. Well, that's been uh, solved and I'm about to show you how I solved it. That blue glowy thing you see right there that is a slot fan that I purchased for about 14 bucks at Best Buy. It was the last one they had. They actually don't carry them anymore. And uh, this required me to buy two other parts. You see them ribbon cables in there. What those actually are is those are uh, PCI slot extenders. My motherboard, as you can see, only has two slots in it. Uh, besides the video card and one PCI Express X4 slot, which I don't, I'm not actually using right now. So, since my case was so big and the fan has to be directly against the video card, I put these ribbon cables in there and they have their own slots on them. And now my video cards are in the bottom two slots. And if I were to upgrade to a double slot video card I can do that now as well because I can still move this down to the next port if I want to and blow on there okay uh, since the last time I did this update I added this ultra device which is a powered hub with a headphone and mic hookup on it and SBDIF well this was actually a bad purchase this thing's a piece of crap if I hook the power to the hub the computer will not power up it is basically hooking direct voltage to the USB port and the headphone plugs don't actually hook to the headers inside the motherboard like you would expect them to and work properly instead it comes with extension cords to run to the rear of the case and plug in that way which forces you to if you ever use headphones you can use right there but you can't hook speakers up in the back anymore and if I hook them up to an actual header which here's one right here then it thinks it's in microphone mode all the time and I have yet to find any software that works properly with that now I can splice and cut and all that crap if I want to manually but it's just really not worth the effort instead what I'm going to do is just be satisfied with the headphone plug on my speaker and then I have a USB extension which I will run and have sitting over here for front access and I will have a um, little non-powered hub that I have already that I'm going to hook into that so this thing's a waste of money and don't buy it I paid 20 bucks for it and I wish I never had and I can't take it back because I modded the crap out of it to get it in there. Actually, it's only about this wide actually inside, but it comes in a full length case. And to keep mounting room for my hard drive, I chopped it up and, well, you can see what I did. All right, final features of this thing, two tuners. I'm using an analog video card right now made by uh, MSI, and I'm actually using it to record with. It's got both composite and S-Video inputs on it. It has a built-in tuner, uh, built-in radio, and it doesn't work with Media Center unless you run a software encoder, which I haven't currently got installed. Um, but as you can see, there's the software, and it's recording right now. This over here, this much neater setup, is my media sender on my Mac and I will explain everything I have set up on that in a different video but it's basically everything's managed cables are managed and this drawer has all of the extraneous crap in it there's the power block router modem digitizer etc etc and it runs off a Bluetooth mouse which I have sitting here And this mouse I'm using on this one 
is this mouse blue Bluetooth keyboard I know you haven't seen this mouse in this episode before but it's uh, actually watch the screen it's an air mouse I can use it in the air if I want to or on the desktop it actually senses when it's on the table and turns the light on and it's got a docking station over here so it's always charged it's made by gyration it does not come with Mac software available so I'm using it on the PC and that's why I've got my Bluetooth mouse over there on the uh, Mac so full support of what I've got going on now is my slot reader this is going to be updated really soon with a combo drive that does all the same functions it does except light stripe but uh, it's going to be able to play blu-ray I can get one of them currently for ninety nine dollars I'm gonna check on eBay and see if I get one cheaper and I've of course got dual tuners both analog and digital radio and then my five hard drives for um, one boot drive and four for data backup and I've, of course I've, I've showed the remotes before in previous videos but here's one of them it's the hoppage and um, I have a uh, another one that works with the media lab setup it's currently in the other room I'm just I don't have it in right now and uh, as you can see I've went to a flat screen monitor since the last show and for desk space purposes well I hope this uh, final hardware update gives you an idea for your system and uh, if I post any more videos it'll be pure software and showing you how I'm I can uh, stream live television over the video over the internet and stuff using orb but I've already got a video of that on my old media center so I'm, I might not do that well that's it for this episode and I Hope you guys enjoyed it.